Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the final quarterfinal of Season 40 CCL Playoffs. We've got Sazori and his Chorfs versus Andri and his Chaos, and we've got a perfect defense to start us off. Um, in the booth with me is Dimmy G, the absolute legend. Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Uh, we've got an exciting bash fest for you today, and I'm raring to go. And a perfect defense is not what you want, is it, Jim? <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, it's it's interesting though, right? Because it could cost uh, it could cost Andre because if he tries to like you know out muscle the LOS here with uh, guard locking them, yeah, you know one D's could cause a domino effect down the line, and it could be very bad for him. Um, but yeah. Overall, I would say this favors Andre. Um, he has, you know, he's got yeah. like overall strong, stronger team. But of course, with two full claw pommers like this, it's very easy. Like amazing claw pommers, aren't they? With block tackle, pro, Donners, pro, Donners. yeah, yeah. It's very easy for, for like Sazori to kind of high roll him and just decimate his team. But I mean, he's, he's got three claw pom of his own. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like three proper claw palms with a bit of mobility, but AV8 versus like two and a half, well, two proper claw palms and a half like claw mighty, so. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely want to be the Chaos, I think, in this match. Yeah, I, th I think the Chaos are favoured. Only one ball um, and a move five ball carrying Hobgoblin is a bit horrible, isn't it? But uh, yeah, the two claw palmers. Oh, they're basically they're gonna have to they're gonna have to remove people because I think otherwise the chaos are favoured. So there you go. <laughs> oh dear. What's he got on that ball? Let me uh, see this on there. The ball. Is he? He's only got the one. <laughs> yeah, he's only got one ball. Yeah. Yep. That's, good. that's that's pretty huge. That is pretty huge. Yeah, it is. And like this is the thing as well. Like I, I like know it's terrible, but I also like having the double LOS at half time. So if you can survive this first LOS, there's like there's huge potential to like just completely smash the chores. How yeah. many benches to the hops? How many hops? Got bench? three. Bench. Oh, okay. That that's a bit. Yeah, that kind of denies some of the hits in it, I guess. Yeah. But then, you know, you can still lie down, right? If you like, if the 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 great thing about this is they don't have that much fouling. I mean, they do have three reserves, but they don't have that much fouling. It's not like Necro, um, where Necro would foul you to death. You, you can switch gears, and like, if things go badly, you can just lie down and wait for the double LOS, as you say. Like, double LOS is six claw palms, and that can be that can be yeah. absolutely devastating. Is he gonna follow? No. Guard piece as well. I mean, how many guard has he got? Is it down to five? Right, five. Five versus four? Okay, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Oh no, it's five versus five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Four. One, two, three, no, five, yeah. Five. Yeah, yeah, he's actually got more guard now, now after that removal. Yeah, five versus four, yeah, interesting. But of course, more strength on the Chaos team. And he's got a guard guy on the bench as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just guard. Surprised that he put the uh, the just show hands on instead of the just guard, right? Because you would think having the just guard guy would be better on defense, and then you've at least got this kind of terrible excuse for a ball carrier on your offense <laughs> yeah <clears throat> like yeah i don't i know why he got the the short hands on that one though that was p purely for yak wasn't it he played yak in the last round and yak was gonna have a wizard so he could as they say call it a bolt bitch isn't it you just carry on the one and pick up on the other one yeah he only really got through yak on based on an intercept as well didn't he it was yeah. uh it was way closer than it probably could have been yeah Do you like moving this far forward early? I guess it's good for sure, sorry. Yeah, you, you've got a lot in front of you, so I, I quite like it, yeah. Like, you're kind of going, you're kind of going down a side, but it's hard to do anything on this side anyway, isn't it, with these Yeah. Guys. I quite like just dodging away. And then the old PC, move forward as quickly as you can, when you can. Yeah. 
Only two rostered dirty players and three bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I was saying, but it's still, it's not that easy for them to foul. Like, I genuinely believe that because they don't want to expose the, uh, they don't want to expose the hobos to like getting, you know, easily removed, do they? And like, like I know obviously kind of removes the dwarves just as easily. But still, you don't, like, they, you put them in and they stick people on them and then they, you know, they get mighty blow hits. You'd rather not. Hmm. The thing is, I always find it easier to foul on defense because, like, you got to protect the ball, don't you? So, like, protecting the ball costs players. So, unless it's a one or two assist foul, I think it's really difficult on offense to foul, like, properly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ideally, you want to, like, a good formation that's, like, protecting the ball and gets you a bunch of fouls in already, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess, yeah, if you can, like, lock down. But that's what the perfect defence did, didn't it? Because normally you've got them three players lying on the LOS that you can kind of protect and foul. Yeah. <clears throat> like, protect the ball and foul, but where he's got the perfect defence, it kind of messes up the shape of the start of the drive. Mm. And there's a dirty player getting slapped in the face. Yeah. Eating it like a champ. Yeah, I like that because you got your extra hit if, if you get even double pushes and, and obviously 75% knockdown doesn't do anything to him. <laughs> and now his co palmer is ready to get fouled himself. Yeah, and like he's he's got one guard there. He's not even protecting it. He's just going to put in a guy behind probably. Well, you can still get a three assist foul there. Oh, Alright, that's yeah. That's strength fair. five is is hard to deal with, isn't it? <laughs> well, unless you've got two dauntless pro claw pommers, Jim. They can't hit him though, <laughs> can they? That's the thing. But <laughs> <laughs> no, just strength five in general, it's just like ah. Yeah, like that's nice. He's got he's got both of the uh, the kind of assisty squares covered, isn't he? This guy being down I mean, stops anything. He can chain the strength five. Oh no, he can't. It's stand firm. Stand firm oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, it could chain the warrior. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, he could. He could. Well, it's only a one assist foul, though. I mean, is yeah, yeah AV it, nine. It's me. Yeah, it's not really worth doing. You hit his dirty player, right? Yeah, it could do. Could do. Could just try and recentralize. It's only turn two. There's no reason to go. Like no need to go. Forward the early. good thing about hitting the dirty player is you're moving away from the other two claw pommers as well. The bad thing about it is you can't really reach with your claw pommers, so maybe just hit the guy in the middle. Got one, two, three. Oh, it's GFIO. Yeah. Hit the skillless guy. Like, obviously, that's think... what I'm just trying to do get get his skillless guy's hit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the whole battle with the bash. Like, people can so easily say, like, bash teams are brain dead, but there's a lot of. Positional play that's massive. Like obviously, once you get the snowball going, it's kind of it looks really easy. But it's, it's the initial taking the uh, momentum. That's not going to help. It's interesting how uh, he didn't pom the. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? It's like yeah, because like Andre just threw the palm like, and then, like, and then Sorry just didn't held it held it off. So it's, I think he's scared. Well, I think he might be a little bit concerned about the foul. <laughs> uh, fairly decent. Yeah. Do you think he's going to 1D this Strength 5 guy? I think he is. 1D him? Wait. One he's D. already blitzed. Yeah. He can 1D him though, can't he, without this blocker? Yeah, here. I guess he has to, because otherwise he's getting pomped. <laughs> like, <laughs> even if your skull is not as bad, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> standing there. So he has to throw the guard. No, oh, he doesn't even have to throw the guard in. I think he wants to, yeah, you chuck him in there. If you chuck the wonder, you can't foul, that's the thing. Yeah. And like now, if you roll like a, a well, if you roll a two, not only do you get 
Oh, okay, there we go. He could foul as well with this guy. This guy could come in and foul. He is a Roger, but um, he's also got dirty player. <laughs> the best dirty player in Chalice. He's coming in as well. He's coming in hot. He's going with the Pommer, surely, yeah? Yeah. No more, no more of that animation in Blood Bowl 2020 or Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, it'll be tragic. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the best dirty player like animations I think the Hobo. It is, yeah, it's great. Although I hate it because it's always against me. So <laughs> I've rarely played Chaos Dwarfs. <laughs> it is brilliant. I mean, what's, what are we looking at here? We're looking at... Tackle Pom, the dirty player, Hobo? Um, yeah, yeah, he does have a tackle there, doesn't he? That's, there's only two dodges, well, three dodges on the other side, so yeah, maybe he's, maybe you commit your Tackle Pom in. He could just Pom the, uh, the Stand Firm Chorf, couldn't he? <laughs> I mean, this, this is how tactical that I was talking about earlier, Jim. It's like, who do we pom? <laughs> <laughs> this is how difficult it is. It's like, we got to pom someone. It's like, oh, <laughs> which one is it? You could try putting in the tackle pommer, like just basing the Roger to try and set up a tackle Shots hit next turn. And and then pom the, uh, pom the chorf this turn, I think. Yeah, maybe. I think the chorf is more valuable, but... Yeah. Like, if you get an apo out, it's huge. Yeah. So if you, you you know just base this guy with a few with yeah. a few fouls to make it uncomfortable for him. He's keeping his tackle back for the ball, which is fair enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing about having a tackle pommer though, like because you like they kind of like get too good at their job that you have to hold them back to like deal with ball carriers a lot of the time, and then they they're not doing what they're like bread and butter is is pomming things every turn like right? <laughs> yeah I, I guess when you got three of them it doesn't really matter that's the thing yeah that's why you would do need a lot of tackles so that you can go for those pylons doesn't go for the pylon there I guess that two two assist foul scared him a little bit mm. shook him up because yeah I mean you could have got an easy two assist foul here like, I think you have to do that. When you're playing like high elves against like Pommers and stuff, you have to foul them and show that you're willing to foul like a lot of it's a mind game, even if you don't well like obviously you want to get rid of them and stuff, but like like there's certain times I'll play games and stuff and they're not fouling my Pommers and that and I'm like, Well I can just pom for free. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So very early to get it in the head, like if you're gonna pong I'm gonna jump on your head. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's a big psychological thing that you have you have to do it even if you hate the foul. Like it's. Yeah. yeah you can get quite far forward here, and you can claw on this guy. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's a good point. Try. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that in uh, Blood Bowl 3, of course, but um, <laughs> in Blood Bowl 2, yeah, you can path out the foul and stuff and see how many assists there are and then think about and then, you know, make them think you're thinking. Oh, there's no baiting fouls. Oh, he goes for that one. Yeah. He gets the That's removal. It. That's big. How big are your balls, Andre? Not, not that big. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone order some petit pois? <laughs> <laughs> Still think you go up here, right? Because you can you can sandwich him in with a ball, yeah. and then get up here and pretty safely. I quite like getting up there. Get up there. So yeah, I think I, I I mean to be fair, I don't think I would have apoed that to be fair. But I'm no. just being a bit cheeky. Yeah, no, I don't think that was a, a green apple. He's a big player though. Yeah, it's just it's just you know you're gonna take cards, don't you? That's the problem. And and if you're yeah. gonna win <coughs> Chalice. 
Chalice equity versus match equity, like the that age old debate, yeah. A little bit. And just, and just this game as well, right? You still want to have players for this game as well, like in the second half. And like you're probably going to get him back for the second half. You're probably going to have, like, you're probably 75% of getting back for the second half. And if well, it's you, a one in four, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. I mean, if you stop him scoring, then it's 50 50. But then you're quite happy anyway, so. I if you save it for the second half. So it's, 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 it's not simple. Tackle doing a job there. Yeah. Dirty player based on POM. Yep, he's gonna wreck him. It's quite a few hits he can get here. Yeah, nice diagonal hits down the line. And he gets the POM to stand firm, sure. Yes. Wow. On three dice, maybe. Yeah, you can, you can three dice him. You can get these two and this guy on the front, and then this one can go on there. Three dice curb on him. I like that. That's a stun on the DP, which is nice. Oh, that's not the DP. Just hit the guard. Makes sense. Yeah. Probably don't even pile on here. Just block and follow, but don't pile. My... Really, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. I oh, don't even don't even have to think about. Oh, yeah, I don't like planning here because. It... Yeah, I know. So. He's holding all these guys up, isn't he? Both of these. Yeah, it's huge trade. One short hands go for a mighty blow. Guard stand firm, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's doing the three D here. I, I like this three D because he hasn't got a block, has he? So. I think I'd rather 3D with him than um, than 2D <coughs> with the block down. Yeah, you want to keep him on his feet anyway for the ball carrier, for it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Try. Yeah. <laughs> I miss considering my opponents <laughs> doing the same plans. <laughs> Greed as well. I, I expected oh, I, the greed. I was gonna re. I was gonna re-roll that, mate. I was all <laughs> on that re-roll, especially after getting that KO warrior KO'd. That yeah. chaos warrior KO'd. Yes, yeah, needs some. The three dice greed's a lot better than the two dice greed, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. The bulky. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Kills him. Oh, oh rewarded. This is what. <laughs> oh, and the oh, apple oh, kind of fails. Oh. Yeah, that's a. Fail, yeah. What is it? Like a MNG? Yep, so he'll, he'll miss the semi final, but will be available with minus movement for the final if he gets there. <laughs> that's pretty huge. Yep. And the apple is gone. That's first blood. First proper blood, anyway. It is, yeah. It is first proper blood. In danger of the uh, equity swift swing. <laughs> yeah, bit dodgy doing not doing this hit first though. That was the only bad thing about the greed because you've got to hit this guy because yeah. he's a fucking call pommer. So like you really had to hit him. This is also why I I, I know this is going to sound really dumb, but <laughs> this is also why I don't like having the ball first in a bash versus bash match because it's so e like I think it's easier to react to. That obviously the the risk is like three of your guys just die on the LOS and then you're like you're screwed. But then if that doesn't happen, like you've got to protect the balls so they can like snipe you a lot easier. Yeah. So and then like <clears throat> I, I feel like the momentum is completely with Andre at this point. Yeah. It does look very grim for the Chelsea. I don't know how they, they get this back, really. Are we going to rely on the Pro to get 2D here on this Blitz? And then just more or less stay where he is for a turn. I think that's, that's what he's going to do, right? Just tuck in the ball carrier. And, uh, and rely on the Pro, uh, not Pro, rely on the Dauntless and Pro to get yeah. the 2D. It's like when you're on an aeroplane and it's crashing and they tell you to put your head between your legs and that's just to preserve your dental records so they can identify your body when they find the plane. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing to do with the fact that it's going to save you. It's just so you can preserve your dental records so they can identify your carcass. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. It's true, yeah. 
That is amazing. Reroll it. Reroll it. Yeah. Pro it. Pro it. Yeah, oh, boy. It, so. I'll pile on and kill him. Yeah, this is. Oh, he killed oh, him! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, handle these as well! I can't oh. handle these equity swings, Jim. This is too much for me. Oh, holy shit! My and he's out. For, he's out for the next game. Yep. Who, who's, who's, who, <laughs> who plays the winner of this one? Because they're, they're oh, probably God. sitting at home, very happy. I already can't remember. I think this is the bottom half of the draw. So yeah, it'll be Crucifer or Sindin, the winner of that match. Unbelievable. Lucker dogs. Or yeah. well, it depends. It probably needs to be a bit more attrition before we can call them lucker dogs. Well, seeing as both apples are out on fails. Yes. You'd imagine there'll be some more attrition. On straight deaths as well. <laughs> this is going to be like five aside blood bottle any minute. Oh, is someone streaming is it, Volk? Is someone, is someone streaming it? Uh, what, PC versus... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, PC yeah, PC is. yeah, PC is good. Uh, top lad, top lad. Good. Glad someone is. Well, you hit the ball, can't. I mean, like this is this is just like you just got to try and kill stuff, right? This is who cares about the ball at this stage? Yeah. <laughs> you you need to kill the killers as qu quicker than they kill your killers. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's what it's all about, and he gets the three D on him. <clears throat> I like this. Well, you can actually hit him anyway, can't he? So I guess he doesn't want to chain up. He just wants to chain away the, the dirty player. Yeah, get rid of that. Dirty. Here oh, we go. Armor break. Kaz. And uh, no Apo. <laughs> Only badly hurt. Yeah, but it's a claw pommer, isn't it? So yeah, it's, it's big it's, for the game. Big for the game. It's looking very good for Andre. Yep. Looking like he's got a, a massive equity s swing, up to three thousand. I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, Mighty Blow can still do a job against goats, but yeah, that's pretty huge. Yep. There was something to be said about dodging the claw from out. Maybe. Yeah. If he if he goes for him, then you just foul him, right? Once he pumps. Yeah, I, don't know. I can't remember where it was. <laughs> he, he had to he had to do the rookie beastman block to push out the chuff. He still has mm. a killer, yeah. He has got a killer, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can you can like get up and move him there and then get the blitz in still, can't he? Maybe he's just got a GFI to blitz the air. He's got to hit this guy. I guess you can just do it with, with Claw Mighty, can't you? One, two, three, four, five. Claw Mighty blitz him. Move a bit of your screen up. Yeah. Looks like he's going the other way. I really hate the move five carrier, by the way. That is that is horrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Throw. Like, it's an edgy for Mr. Throw. No, of course. Right. He gets to Claw Pom the Claw Pom. Instant greed. No. Trying to pro it. Does he reroll the pro? No, that's really insane. <laughs> oh boy, howdy! This is this is really dodgy. This is yeah. so risky. This was so fucking risky. Mad lad. I hate I hate all of this. I think he had to push down this side. Yeah, he like, just rerolled it. Yeah. I don't I don't hate hitting the dirty player anyway because like Andre's got to a point now where fouling is. Not like it doesn't matter if he gets sent off now. Yeah. He's got a foul. He's got a foul. He's got a GFI. No, he doesn't even have to GFI. Go here and foul him. No, no. no he had to dodge foul this guy because th this this guy's gonna fucking push his shit right in, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like this is horrible, man. He's claw pumping him. He's claw pumping him, and he's claw pumping him. This is three players getting claw pumped this turn. That's fucking horrible. Three core pom hits. And still like a safety. 
Well, yeah, leaving his last killer out to dry. It's uh, it's looking grim. Mm. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm not like sure. it's fine. It's fine, I guess. It's probably safer than, than my way. I'd have done the blockless hit first and see if you power him, and then if you power him, then that gives you uh, this so you blitz to, and you this block. The, you have to put the guard in, don't you, to get that? Um, yeah, yeah, I would have put the guard in and then and then and then done this hit. And so then you'd have basically claw a... mighty blow guard on claw mighty blow. Yeah. Okay. But then I would have pommed him, and then pommed him, and then pommed him, and then that's three players pom instead of this just being a claw mighty. But this is kind yeah. of like safe, I guess. It's not terrible or anything. It just costs you a, it just costs you a pile on. It costs you a claw pom, yeah. Yeah, it just costs you a pile on. That's all. I mean, he. Like it's kind of like dodgy piling on now, anyway, isn't it? Like this nah. late stage. Nah, I like, I like doing it because it's hard for the score anyway. I think you can freely. Uh... The fact that you've got this like sweeper who's strength four with tackle. And he's he's movement fucking five. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking you know. <laughs> They need to show, what, do they show injuries on players in Blood Bowl 3? Um, they don't show anything, do they? <laughs> yeah, they should, they should just show Kaz's like, or like, it should be like a, like a, an option that you can switch on and switch off, like to see injuries. Mm. Ah, so he doesn't even, yeah, he doesn't even follow the... No. I mean, it's looking really bad for Sasori. Yep, you got you got to base this hobble, haven't you? And stand him up. That ball centaur has done absolutely nothing this off. No, he hasn't, has he? Like, right, it's. I think when you lose one ball, you probably get overprotective of the last one. Yeah, and it's so easy for him to be removed. That's the thing, isn't it? Just one assist. Yeah. One assist, nail him with a claw pommer. But now the claw pommer's piled, the tackle pommer's piled. You know, maybe this is the time that now he hands off to the bull and the bull potatoes. A cheeky but bull it, potato. But that bull has literally done nothing. Like, he's yeah. not even been in contact with anyone. No, well, I think he's just been scared of exposing him, basically. Yeah. But then, like... In that case, isn't like a hobo better? <laughs> I know, it, like it's my warp logic. But well, you can like... use him. You can use him, right? Like, yes, yeah. he is doing a job that a hobo can do. He's done a job that a hobo could have done so far this half. But you still got him to turn it into a bull, haven't you? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas if you did not do bull things earlier, he might have been turned into a dead Mush. bull. <laughs> Stakes. It's a nice power. For... Yeah, so huge power. Big stun. Yeah, and now he's got three players to move down the floor. Kind of four players he can move. Yeah, can move the ball well down the side here. Yeah, yeah. This is all good. I didn't like him leaving this tackler here. I like this tackler going back in the middle because this yeah. tackler could get tagged, you know, or you know what otherwise neutralised. Whereas now, and if he goes, this was the more side that was more open. So I would have tagged him first of all. Rather than just leaving him away. Yeah. And more central. So he could cover either way. Well, you're a good player. <laughs> Inarian. Inarian is pretty good at Blood Bowl, just quietly. Yeah, he's better than me. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anorian's one chalice, right? Anorian won one like first. three times, Tw two or three times. No, no, no. I think it, it, it must be twice because Ducky's won it the second most, which is three, uh, isn't it? Yeah. That was one of the questions in Quiz Pit. No, it was Sue's won it the most, and it was Chris. No. Oh was yeah, was Sue's won it the second most? Yeah. No, yeah, that was a he's... Blitz Pit competitors though. Oh, okay. Danix won it twice, I know that. Ducky's won it three times, Cruz has won it five times. Yeah. Don't know how many Anarian's got. I know Anarian, didn't Anarian win it with like one elf? 
Yeah, yeah, he one turned with like three players on the field. He's won it at least twice. Probably just twice. <clears throat> Let's find out. Let's find out. Two, Two yeah. 74% in Chalice is pretty goddamn high though. Like when you compare that with like other coaches who are that's very highly rated football coaches. That, that's up there with Cruz. Um... Yeah, Cruz is like 70 something, isn't it? Yeah, 76. 76. <laughs> yeah. But he's maintained that over, over four times as many. Elliot's is like. 40 is it? Something like that, I think. Yeah, but he's. Uh... Elliot's qualified with every team, hasn't he? That's the, like, that's the that's thing. Like, you know? Yeah, that's amazing, mate. Like, that's so good. Yeah. That's like a huge achievement. Yeah. And, and to be fair, like, Cruz qualifying for 28 chalices. Oh, 54. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. Fuck off, Dimmy. Yeah. yeah. Like, like... Uh, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fact that Cruz has qualified for 28 chalices and, like, Pretty much all of them with chaffs, and pretty much all of them as top chaffs, and pretty much all of them as like 2,200 chaffs that looked like the favourite to win the tournament. Yeah, like, that's it's amazing. Yeah. It is completely amazing. Like in as many right, ways, that's as is that's as is impressive as his record in Chalice, I think. Okay, so I remember Cruz qualifying with Nurgle. Can you remember Cruz qualifying with anything else that's not chaffs or Nurgle? No, <laughs> I don't think I can. Like, maybe, like, he qualified with Pro Elves and didn't take them. But... Oh, I think he's qualified with things and not taken them. But I think he generally takes the good He's shit. only to... Yeah. <laughs> I wish he would qualify other things. Yeah. No, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure, like, one season he, like, qualified with about five different races or whatever just to, just to show that he could. But, um, yeah. I think he, uh, yeah, he's going to take the, the good ones, isn't he? It's obvious yeah. he's not going to qualify with flings and take flings. He's going to he's going to qualify with chaffs and and take them. Is he even in scoring range right now? No, he's not. Jim. He's not. He'd have to hand off to the ball. <laughs> it's so horrible. It is. I didn't like. I didn't even realise. I mean, he's Ooh. done all right with what he's got. Like he's done. Right, like, yeah. I don't on knockdown there. He really wanted the knockdown so he could dodge this guy on a three, didn't he? Now he's got to do a, just a sideline cage, I guess. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to do both GFYs. No, he's just, he's just doing that one GFY. Oh, I was going with the okay. Sideline cage. Now, Jim, nothing has ever gone wrong in the history of Blood Bowl with a sideline cage. No. No, it's 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 risky. It's a risky move, isn't it? But it can, you know, when when you've got no other options. With two it. heads, is it's a five plus with two heads, is it? Yeah. And a five plus to just straight stop him scoring. Yeah. With He's a reroll. Like, yeah. do do you go for that? Yes. I think yeah, I think I go for that. I would. Um. I don't think Crucifer would, funnily enough. Crucifer's very conservative, isn't he? And well, he you think he'd just try and park in front, or what? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure Crucifer would just park in front as much as he could. Um, wh whether Andrew will go for it or not, I think I think he should go for it. And like, it is actually hard to get in front, so maybe maybe Chris would have done as well. Like, it is hard to get in front here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Like, and then to what to what. Like, he, there's not enough bodies to get in front, if that makes sense. There's... Yeah, he is only move five, though, but yeah, I think I think he just bang this guy out, moving the dirty player and then dodge him. Oh, he's just hitting... Oh, right, okay. Good yeah. evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? Five plus, four Z win. Yeah, he could go in from the... He could go in <coughs> from here, but then if he knocks him over, there's still the bull threat on to score. I, th I think, you know, surfing him, there's a lot of value in surfing him, isn't there? He's going for it. Oh, baby. What's a 5 plus with a reroll? It's like, it's not that bad, is it? It's like. Oh, he's going five. in that way, but that's through tackle. Oh, because it's for 4 plus? Yeah. Alright. He doesn't have dodge. Oh, in that case, that was, that was a lot better then. <laughs> I just thought he had dodge. Never mind. 
Well, in that case, yeah, going in the bottom way was a lot better then. I, I thought you would have had to come in this way, but still have dodge. Not the best analysis you'll ever see. But yeah, yeah, without oh, having dodge, then this this way looks better, yeah, for sure. Because that, like, I was thinking going in this way to still have your dodge on, but. Mm. He's gonna pro. Gonna go. Bombs. This is pretty big if he gets this. He's got it so far. Uh -oh. Kaz! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking got him. He's done. Oh, shit. That's massive. Wow. There haven't been many Kaz, but the Kaz there have been. <laughs> They've been the good ones, yeah. Claw Pommer gone. Claw Pommer gone. And the strength gun. Brutal. Brilliant. Brilliant to watch. Mm. Been a solid game. Mm. Now we've got two LOSs, but he's down, what? Four pumps? So he's going to get to hit some hobos now. And he needs to kill enough of them to get the good stuff on the line. <laughs> yeah. Not that many players, were there? Um... For the chaos, like there, there was a lot of there was a lot of reserve hobbles. Yeah, there was two bench for chaos, the guard guy and someone else. Yeah, so they're down to ten in the chaos. Yeah, down to ten for chaos. And even if he cases somebody, they they'll they'll still be eleven. Interesting. Can Dio be the first person to score against PC? That is wild that they have finished their half at the same, you know, they've basically done the half in the same time, even though this is three minute turns and that's one minute turns. That's wild. Oh, what, they... The BBSL has just finished the first half now. Started at the same time with one minute turns. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> just goes to show you how much crap there is, like with picking dodges and Sam Firms and that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Claw Pom does help to make games a lot quicker. Yes, it does, yeah, to be fair. But, wow, this is a costly game for Andre, even if he wins, isn't it? This guy yeah, like, so... maybe, like, either of them win, it's been pretty costly. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's already, he was already minus moved and already niggled as well, so yeah. That's only badly hurt. I mean, this one isn't so bad, is it? Here comes the right, Jim. But I think, Here comes the right. Yeah, I think losing the, might, the plus strength guy is bigger than losing. Match off. Oh. He did he. I'm glad that you can't move the LOS on perfect defense anymore. That is one thing I'm happy about. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty cool change, isn't it? No more offset LOS. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I don't know, it's, and it, it's still going to be alright, actually, for, like, if you get the Blitz, you know, and people, people tend to not set up very well against an offset LOS, but he obviously loses a bit of power. Like, the kickoff events were one of the best changes to the rules for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great. Great that they made it less dumb luck. Yeah, like, the amount of games that you just go, oh, like, your heart... Yep. Instant deflation. <laughs> yep. I hate this, by the way, from Andrew. That should have been the blitz. He should have blitzed three dice here. This guy should have been the other side. And he could have done the three dice blitz. Now he can't three dice blitz this guy. His claw pump, unless he removes him. Mm. Well, that was a big fuck up. Good to know. <clears throat> Big fuck up. He's got to take the push. No, he didn't get it. There you go. Did himself out of a claw pump hit there. And like, it really wasn't hard, was it? To just put this guy on the other side and then three dice with claw pump. Uh. And then you would have had another three dice with claw pump as well. That was that was pretty bad. He also took a skull. He didn't even get an extra guy to make that 3D. Are we getting a free hop LOS next, next drive? Mm. I think that was a bit lazy and crap by Henry. <laughs> 
Lazy and crap are uh, Chalice quarterfinal <laughs> yeah. finalist. Lazy and crap. Cheers, Jim. <laughs> yeah, like you know, like I know, I, I know that there is pressure and everything, what have you, all that kind of stuff. Nerves, pressure, whatever you want to say. But that was just like that's pretty basic, isn't it? To like max and I three Ds in, in a kind of pointless turn like that. You know, I mean, like different if it was on the OS now. To be fair, Jim, I have been known not to be able to make it a free die, so I've just rolled a one dice instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and look, we've all we've all like not seen the assist or whatever and done a one D for like no reason and things, or misread the board and thought, you know, like like I did when I thought my strength four was just getting a two D and it was strength three and I just did a one D and powered him. <laughs> but yeah. like <laughs> That's what I did. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> But like that was you've got you you know, you've got to be able to do that automatically, made the three Ds there, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's going to take you from a good coach to a great coach, right? Yeah. It's the, it is the little things, isn't it? It's the little tiny details. And if you get in the habit of doing them, you're going to be a better player. Yeah. Hello, Holy Boy. Speaking of better players, here's Holy Boy. The, uh, oh, yeah. The Crime <laughs> Stoppers legend. <laughs> <laughs> the valiant effort in the fan of the Blitz Pit. Yeah. I think he might be the only guy to actually have uh, lost the blitz bit after being 2 0 ahead as well <laughs> in the final. What a way to kick him in the teeth, did he? <laughs> <laughs> just, just throw it out there. <laughs> He's the Atlanta Falcons of blitz bit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking savage, Timmy. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great game, yeah, it was a great game. <laughs> it was, it was an amazing game. Absolutely. It was so good, you sent Gdanik to sleep. <laughs> yeah. With the excitement. Yeah. <clears throat> I loved it, mate, I thought it was brilliant. Well, I, like, I, 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 Fuck I, off, I wanted you to beat KFO, I did want you to beat KFO. <laughs> But then, like, if anyone deserves to win it, KFO also deserves to win it as well, so... Yeah, just a, uh, great, a great... Game, yeah, it was like... It was much better than the Dionysian Mankeys final the season before. That was probably one of the worst finals I've seen in Blitzbit. <laughs> um, no, no disrespect to the players or anything like that, it was just... It was so one-sided and so easy. Yeah. Like, some of the best... The best final before that I remember was actually, um... Uh, Wolf Bark and KFO, that was a pretty amazing final as well. Yeah. And Proels, Proels winning Blitzbit for the first time. Yeah, very impressive. But they got a nice skill package, didn't they? Like, I think that's a like, like that's a big, you know, part of it as well, isn't it? Is like finding those kind of cool, cool yeah. team builds and that. Like when Dave won it, I thought it was a great team build that he found for the high elves. <laughs> yeah. What you really want to do is find out what Shawnee's taking, <laughs> and, and then you just want to duplicate it. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it underrated? Uh, in overtime format, probably not. Yeah, That's I mean, the issue with Pearls. So, I mean, the thing is, is there wasn't a huge amount of mighty blow, is there? Like, that's the thing. Yeah. There's not. So yeah, and like Kfo had twelve pro elves, whereas Bright had it. Oh no, he had Bright had twelve because he had the star player. Mm. But it's like, interesting. You, isn't yeah, I mean, you have the ability just to go pop, didn't you? Like, and the thing is, is if if you have one of them games where everyone just dies, then it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, and, and they got they got they got a nice skills package. That's the thing. So like, they're not really underrated when the skills package helps them. Is yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, and it's one of those things as well, like, you know. A large part is, uh, I don't know what game he's referring to. I have no idea what game he's referring to. <laughs> it, it definitely was. Was it against Orcs by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Must have played against a right banger. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the two, the two sidestep yeah, blocks. Yeah, they were disgusting. Yeah, uh, mate, watching Rick against uh, um, Bright, like, and he only had one guard one. He had a tackle one or something like that. 
Man, for the they were just a nuisance. Sidestep's just really good in Blitz, but like, in one minute turns, like having to think about how to deal with sidestep is just yeah annoying as hell. Yeah, that is really nice. That's what that's what me and uh, KFO did in like one of the first Blitz pits. We just had like loads of blood step dark elves. <laughs> just like <laughs> it seems like pretty good. Deal with, with it. Yeah, just just with deal it. with it. Uh. Yeah. This seems a risky move, doesn't it? His killer here can just get blitzed back quite yep. easily. Yep, in fact, he can move this guy out of the way and he's got the instant 2D. Instant 2D on him. In fact, he can hit from here, can't he? Because the both got to go. This is, this is a very risky, risky killer move. And he actually, he actually probed the push into the board down, which trapped him, didn't he? <laughs> he could have just taken the pro and been safe, uh, like taken the push and been safe because he prod it. He's he's hung him out dry. Boy, howdy! This is going to be a huge blitz. Massive. Yeah. Why didn't you just blitz from here? You could have just blitz from here. There was yeah. So the angle was just terrible, right? Why why not just hit? I guess he wanted to push him there and foul him or something. But yeah, yeah, just the blitz from here. Like it is pretty. Is, is there any bribes? Like there's no bribes. Is there, there is it's bribes. Just... Yeah, there is bribes. They, they both got one from uh, the kickoff just then. Uh... Got yeah, that's cool. I'm having you. You've just, you've just got like it's just a law. You've got to. <laughs> it's a law. <laughs> it's a law. <laughs> you can I'm maybe knock get... everyone down here. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. Claw upon him. I wonder if he gets the power here. It will be a 3D blitz. Oh, that's that's great, isn't it? That is great. This this if this hits a pal. Did you take that? Yeah, you've got to because like okay, you reroll the one in nine, but it's just like reading the two D blitz anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So I think move this guy up here, and like. What you move the DP first? Yeah, move move the DP up here to like protect against. I mean, maybe, maybe foul it. I oh, yeah, actually move this sure hands guy up here. Move this show hands guy up there so that you know. Where is that guy? There, look, there's the one in nine, which he greed anyway. No, he doesn't greed anyway. Oh, well. <coughs> yeah, but he would have one in nine on the chalf and then he would have had to reroll it. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I, would, I expect him to greed that anyway. So far uh, better to, uh, like, I expect him to greed the board down. So if you're going to greed the board down, then it's better to do this and maybe get the power. And then you've got three dice, which you can then greed, which is a better greed, isn't it? Like, if, if you don't yeah. use the one in nine first. Could foul here. I quite like this foul. It's not terrible, is it? Only one assist. Well, two assists. Yeah, get rid of the dirty player. Yeah, definitely. And then, he, yeah, he needs to. He needs to check that short hands guy. Yeah, get Down. him in. Get him in. And he got a three assist, three assist foul on the uh, DP, and then obviously because you don't want him to have a DP. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. With a bribe. Isn't any greed good? <laughs> oh some, man. Some greed is better than others. <laughs> I, I've definitely, like, mate, after seeing like a few things, I've definitely started to be way more greedy in Blood Bowl than I ever was before. Like, and I know it's bad, but it can work so well, especially against like good players. Like, if you greet a hit and you get a removal, it's, like, massive. Yeah. And that's the thing, is it's it's like if you were playing, um, I know he's not trendy anymore, but if you were playing Phil Ivey at, at poker, your best chance is just to go all in against him every hand rather than try yeah, to play better Yeah, he's got no him. idea what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> you're not going to play better than him. You're just going to lose. <laughs> yeah. So so there's something to be said for that. Um, this is a nice blitz, actually, can't he? He can, he can blitz. He, the bull could blitz in here. And then he could have chained him off. That would have been nice. I don't know if he's already blitzed. No, that was just a block, wasn't it? Quite like this blitz here. And then you can chain them off and then you've got your 2D here. That's a very sexy uh, play there, Jeff. Thanks. 
Or well, in fact, you could just you could just punch punch him to there and still get to. But it, but either way, you can get you can get yeah probably probably better to push him off, isn't it? Push off the push away the claw mine. He is pretty nice. Here he comes. He's gonna do it, yeah. You too. Oh, dirty pal. Yeah, I like turning off the claw mine. He greets it. Oh, into the one and nine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Unbelievable. Brutal. Yeah. Brutal. One and nine there for Sazori. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty rough. Well, Sorry, mate. Am I? Wasn't it? it wasn't one in eighty-one. And he re-rolled it over the fire as well. Yeah. Obviously, he's just going to uh, put this guard in and stand this guard up and smash him to pieces. <laughs> How many? What have we got. Is this? Oh no, there's oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see the players? yeah. I didn't see the dirty player in the hobo. I'm like, how is he down to like nine players already? But he's got like two in the middle there. He only pushes him. Oh man, these ineffective, ineffective claw pommers. Yes, Yak, you did arrive on I don't believe in OT. Yeah, when when OT is. Uh, um, almost inevitable, isn't it? But uh, both inevitable. sides are scared of each other's claw pommers. We've already seen a lot of damage done. We've got a claw pommer yeah, gun there and a bit. claw pommer gun there. So. Uh, there's a KO. Yeah. It's a rookie though. This is more like a game of battleships than poker. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Dr. Phil's bad. I like that. <laughs> I used to have like a, an electronic one that used to go like psh. Nice. It'd, it'd either blow up or it'd go psh. God, you know, I always wanted an electric. I, when I was a kid, I always wanted an electric battleships and never got oh, one. Oh, mate, it's great. It's great. But then, obviously, when you're a kid, like, you can't handle losing, can you? So, like, you play someone at battleships and you lose and you just throw a tantrum. <laughs> That's what you mean when you're a kid. <laughs> Still like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I wish I wasn't, right. but there you go. I was a cool kid. My dad bought me it. My dad bought me uh, battleships. <laughs> Maybe he taught me backgammon. He taught me chess. Nice. Now I'm a gambling addict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dad taught me about. Uh... <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> My dad did teach me how to wire a plug though, which is not something a lot of people know how to do. Where a oh, wire a plug? I thought you said wire yeah. a plug. I thought bloody no, hell, I don't know about I don't know about oh, but, Jesus I don't know Christ. About, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't wanna know about butt plugs, do you mean Jesus? No, I never I never played cribbage, but some of the old boys in the pub uh, they used to sit there and play cribbage while we was all having a beer and that. <laughs> But like you, I used to play like stupid little card games like Knock and all that, like with them. I say stupid little card games; they take it very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> very, very seriously. And like they'd, they'd probably be very upset with me if they heard me say that. Oh! Oh, oh man! Dead. That is that is dead. 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 It's dead, Jim. So this was only badly hurt, the, the move for a niggled guy. This guy is, is minus arched and this guy is dead. Brutal. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's totally ridiculous. <laughs> but, he, but he is on the floor next to a dirty player, so he's got to be wary of that. Privilege at the next big TT, Frank. 
Uh, you'd have to teach me how to play it, I don't know how to play cribbage. Is that, is that the one with the pegs? Has it got like little pegs on it? Yeah, yeah it's it? got pegs. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the pegging cribbage. Yeah, I'm the most pegged man in cribbage. <laughs> I've never played it. Funnily enough, my dad played cribbage and he said cribbage is a good game and I just never wanted to play it. Have you, have you ever heard of Perudo, Jim? No. Oh man, Perudo is like the best pub game of all time. It's like, it's a dice game as well, like you get six dice, six cups, six players, and it's all about bluffing and it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Know, yeah. I didn't it's fantastic. It yeah, Perudo, mate, Perudo. Yeah, uh, it's good. absolutely amazing. <clears throat> we nearly got in a fight with a load of Tottenham fans the day Arsenal beat Tottenham 5-2. It was all in the pub, and like, because you have to guess what's under people's cut, like how many twos there are yeah, yeah. Uh, under people's cups so we were just going i bet there's five twos <laughs> <laughs> and obviously all the tottenham fans were like not very happy with us <laughs> it was for hours as well it was for hours so it's pretty funny here's a claw bomb hit nothing no no nothing but now we'll see a chain here, right? A chain here, chain the guard away, get his own guard in, hit him, bring in one or two guys and get a massive gang foul on this curl palm. Massive, Jim. Massive. I can't wait. Maybe like one or two assist foul. <laughs> it's going to be a gym massive. foul, isn't it? He's, he's going to stun him and get sent off. Yeah. And then the bribe's going to fail. Yep. Why is Dimmy getting pegged and plugged? <laughs> oh dear. No, it's like Liar's Dice, isn't it? It's Liar's Dice in uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty mate, fun game. Google it, Google it, uh, HGK. It's brilliant, mate. It's really good. Yeah, I've, I've played it. It's a pretty fun game. And all you need is cups and dice as well, so it's like you don't have to go to the pub with a massive blood bowl board game. Not that you would ever do that. No. So the tackler can hit him. No, he's got to hit him first. He hits. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a bit shit, isn't it? No, he can hit him. He doesn't go card. Yeah, he does go card. Yeah, so he's got to hit him and then chain him away. Power him, Jim. And he can fo he can follow as well. He can follow. Oh yeah, he can just push him away, yeah, and then he can punch him, right? He can punch him, then he can come up here and he's got a 3 assist foul on this guy. He can get in. Fucking get in. 3 assist foul on the curl palm. Does he even need this warrior back here? Maybe not, maybe he can get another assist in. <laughs> Jim, you're like, you just got into like a red murder frenzy. <laughs> 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 can I get more assists? <laughs> <laughs> and you really want to take him out, don't you? Like you, like you really, yeah, really, really want to take him out. Thick skull, thick skull's gonna save the day. Maybe. I didn't take the full run up. What a noob! Schoolboy error. Oh, oh, he got that pass. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he rolled he's, a six he's... on the armor as well. He had, to, he had to use Dirty Player. I wouldn't have done it. I would have already broken it and I would have had the plus one the injury. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, <clears throat> he just caved in his fixed skull. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Oh, thank you, Volk. Glorious. Well, I, yeah, it'll probably be the team. match of the week here. Eh? Match of the week? Match of the week for BBSL. Which uh, That'll be the BBSL <laughs> show. Which will be on tomorrow um, on the YouTube's. It should be on tomorrow's YouTube, hopefully. Um, Are you gonna get on that? Canal. Oh yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, glorious. <laughs> yeah, holy boy, that's uh, this. This game has been a bloodbath, hasn't it? To be fair dead like would you what was it worth it to get to get the removals he's had it he's got a dead claw bomb he's got a minus edge warrior he's uh, trimming his tv for the next game yeah. and he hasn't even got overtime yet isn't the stream five like mng yeah he's minus edged oh, i said 
Because it's not that bad actually for the chaos. Like, because it was a blockless claw pummer who's dead. So it's not that big a loss. And this guy will be in the final still if he gets there. So it's not, it's not that bad. Whereas, for the game, losing both claw pommers is very bad for the chops, isn't it? I mean, I don't have to be a Blood Bowl expert just to say, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you found my secret, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do you foul the uh, dirty player here? Uh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for the yep. <laughs> Clawpum first though he's got, he's got two options he could go for well maybe th no two options either goes for the warrior I guess you've got to go for the chorf haven't you you've got to go for the chorf I, I, I don't know I think I'd like to see him move the ball somewhere first oh fuck the ball <laughs> <laughs> you've got plenty of time to do ball things who cares Okay, so bracketing the ball to stop the break tackle. It is only turn 13, he has got time still, hasn't he? Yeah, so, I think the, <clears throat> the chalk drive. Oh my god. <laughs> Rackle, Rackle. No, it was the sure hands. The Rackle is gonna maybe hit the ball. Sure hands deadlier than Rackle confirmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is everything but over, isn't it? Yeah. You got you got a claw on. You just got to, haven't you? I mean, at this stage, yeah. Like, why not? A claw mighty. You could claw mighty him, and then he then he assists this two D, and then this this guy can two D. <clears throat> Pretty nice, isn't it? Just get the tackler or the rackler over here. Isn't it? Oh, he's, he's hitting the ball. I guess that's fair. Like, that's fair. The, getting the ball down so that he can't do some bullshit is pretty nice. He could also foul the ball as well, couldn't he? To assist foul. Don't hate it. <laughs> you're, you're like blood first, he's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the bribe, hasn't he? He's got dirty player on a bribe. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna foul these assholes every chance I get. You could even foul the dirty player actually, because. But then you know, like, because the, the oh, chops have got a brand no, no. as well. You can come back and get him next turn. <laughs> oh, no, I meant, I meant this one, the, the Rog. Oh, oh, yeah. The Rog one, but just because, like, you don't want him to have dirty players with the bribe as well, do you? Left this problem on the floor. Mm. Yeah. But like that, at least, at least he cared a little bit about the ball. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Sure hands, sure cars. <laughs> it's been unbelievable, like... I mean, it's not been unbelievable, but it's... You know. yeah. Well, dog to the dog, it, it worked for you against uh, PTK, didn't it? So, <laughs> yeah, just kill is... is is a pretty good strat, if you can oh, do that, it. Oh, that game was hilarious. That's the Wood Elves versus the uh, uh, Underworld, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. And they got the blitz and it looked to be GG. And then it wasn't GG. <laughs> yeah, they can. They can DP him, can't they? This could be a, a big foul. It was the 1 in 81 failed surf, wasn't it? Into just death. Yes. Yep, that's right. <laughs> like, it's just death. <laughs> I tempted that 1 in 81. <laughs> Yeah, I baited did. him. Oh. Baited him into that one in 81. Where's he going? Yeah, I, I would have done as well. There's no need to throw this guy out here, especially as he's a very nice person to rack up. Yeah, he could have had two more assists here. Oh. Gets him off the field at least. But now at least he gets to at least he gets to score basically in a pose, doesn't he? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. 
barring some big ball play. Yeah, big balls. I think you can afford to just tag the ball here and rattle, rattle his hobo down. Maybe even foul his hobo after rattling. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, uh, want to stamp on his head? No, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no! Stamp on his head. <laughs> no, no, get. Five assists and then stamp on his head. <laughs> I love fouling. That's the funniest yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I, can tell. I absolutely love it. It's just that it's usually not a good idea in Blood Bowl too. Like that, that's my only problem. Like I, I don't have any problems with fouling people. I, I had like a lot of really like massive fouling records on, on Fumble because fouling was really good in Living, living Rubik Four. But then unfortunately in Blood Bowl Two, fouling shit. And then fouling oh, no, should be a lot better in uh, Blood Bowl Three. I know, yeah, it's going to be horrendous. Yeah. Especially where you can't get sent off if you don't break armor, can you? And then you get sneaky gear on top as well, which is like only if you roll something. I can't remember what it is. No, you can get, you do get sent off if you roll doubles on armor, yeah. But um, if you've got sneaky gear, you don't get sent off. Um, unless if you don't you... get, like... You don't get sent off if you roll a double on the armor. That is sneaky gear. That's it, yeah. And you so can keep like... moving. After you foul. Bolt bitch, yeah, try it was a bolt bitch, it was next it was an extra yeah. shoot hands. I don't know if his ball carry was missed next game or if it was just an extra shoot hands, but Yeah, no, he was playing he was playing against um Yak estate, wasn't he? Yeah, so yeah, it was just a bolt bitch for Yak. Yeah, because Yak was pro rolls and he had a, a wizard. They nick nine seven five ogres. <laughs> uh, nine three five ogres is pretty good. Yeah. You got the Mo Moomin Slayers played twenty eight games with an ogre team. <laughs> 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 Why on earth did you do that to yourself? <laughs> I saw him playing Zakara and like Zakara was just, like screaming at his uh, computer. It was really entertaining. <laughs> Now there you go, Yak. Yak confirming it was, it was the second show sure hands for Yak. There you go. And uh, yeah, Rick and BBSL does have the advantage, of course, of like seven doubles on Ogres, which is, which is pretty hard to get if you're playing, if you're playing Blood Bowl Two. It will be the norm in Blood Bowl Three, though, won't it? Blood Bowl Three uh, Ogres, like only take. Doubles done if they want. It's going to be very interesting. For the people who play Blood Bowl 3 and for the people who play Ogres in Blood Bowl 3, it will be interesting. Are Ogres the ones that are going to get like full team players as well? Uh, no, no, Ogres actually don't, but Snotlings and Underworld will be able to have up to 14 players on the field. Yes. Oh, Snotlings is a separate team from Ogres. Yeah, Ogres have Noblars, whereas Snotlings and Underworld have Snotlings. Ah. Uh, and then, um, is the, is the Giant going to be a thing? I wouldn't imagine so on Blood Bowl 3. It is a thing in, in like, uh, Blood Bowl 2020, but I can't yeah, imagine it being a thing in Blood Bowl 3. It seems like a bloody nightmare, like, I don't know... <laughs> It does, mate. Like some someone taking up four squares is going to throw my OCD well out of Feng Shui. <laughs> and there's like loads of stupid rules with it, and it was it. It was in the actual 2020 rules, or was it in Spikes the Giants? It's in like one of the Spikes or White Dwarf or some bull bullshit. Oh like uh, yeah, some Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I preferred having the guard here, right, and then the ball there, and then he can go three, four, five, six. Oh, so I would have just moved. I don't know. This seems. Oh yeah, I guess you want him there, so he's got a double butch. Double, du double butch. Why did I say double butch? <laughs> double touch. <laughs> you, you're obviously thinking about me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the double butch. Um... <laughs> The Giants are in Death Zone now, isn't it? It's Death Zone. The Giants are in. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know where the Giant was a special rule. 
So now you can punch him here and then dodge this guy to, to make it harder for the air. Uh, Hi Arcane, have you been have you been playing Fumble? Is that where you've been or you just not not been playing Blood Bowl? Who? Arcane. Arcane. Yeah, you know Arcane, don't you? Yeah, I know Arcane, I just didn't know who you were talking to. I just Yeah, no no he just he jumped up saying Snotlings will rule and I didn't know whether he's been playing Fumble or whether he's just had a break. I know he's got like five million children, hasn't he? No. Or, or two. <laughs> not playing. Good, yeah, fair. Jimmy doesn't know. No, I just didn't see who it did. No, I just didn't hear who Jimmy was talking to. Yeah, who's of Arcane? Of course, I know Arcane. <laughs> I like. I, I. The only time I ever see Arcane is when Rick's spinning, <laughs> <laughs> and then Arcane just seems to be all over the place. <laughs> Yep, Snotlings, Snotlings being pretty, Snotlings being pretty good, yeah, with the stars, and obviously Mercs are in Death Zone. Now again, I don't imagine Mercs will be in, oh my in God, they Blood sound Bowl broken. 3. They and, sound so broken. Yeah, and I wouldn't expect anybody running a private league who has any sense to allow Mercs in them. But some people will use Mercs. Yeah, yeah. mate, they have linemen leagues, Jim, of course there's going to be Merc leagues. Yeah, and, and Mercs are ridiculously OP. Really feeling the old penis. Was it like 40k DP or something? Like you, you can strip like you can strip their stats to make them cheaper yeah. as well. Yeah, right? yeah, you can strip their passing ability and their agility and their strength even and their movement and their armor. <laughs> it's just, just like a, a one 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 like, <laughs> yeah. 10k day player. Yeah, yeah, you just hack down all of the stats. Sneaky gear, yeah. So that, so that you can get DP. So you can get DP plus two and sneaky git. Which is obviously fucking insane. You can't get DP plus two on a Merc though, surely? Yeah, you do, yeah. You get Mighty oh, Blow what? plus two on two of them and you get Dirty Player plus two on the other. It's it's insane, man. I'm pretty sure it's DP plus two. I could be wrong. But um, it's definitely Mighty Blow plus two you can get. You also lose Bonehead to get Mighty Blow plus two, which is hilarious. Yeah, who came up with that? Right, let me consult my physical copy of Death Zone right here. Um, mercenary players. You can probably hear me turning the physical pages of this physical rulebook that I definitely play for right now. Sounds like a mouse roller wheel. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm definitely, I'm definitely flicking through this book. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, chat, but I can definitely hear mouse roller wheel. <laughs> Legendary lineman, here we go. Yeah, dirty player plus two and sticky good. Jim, do you know? Jim, have you got a proper mouse or what? You know, you don't have to roll the mouse wheel. If you hold it to the left and hold it to the right, it scrolls up and down. Yeah. Right, don't waste your finger energy rolling. Like, you just push it left and right. Alright. Yeah, I know what you, you mean. I know what you mean. But yeah. No, I don't know. I don't like <laughs> you don't get to be 18 stone like me <laughs> with rolling your own mouse wheel. Come on. Yeah. Less than that, Moradam. It's like 40k or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, it's like 40k. It's like, I, I remember, yeah. Didn't you do like a video on this like, on YouTube? I didn't or did... do a YouTube. I should have done. Didn't. Oh my god, Jim. All these missed opportunities. Yeah. 50k. 50k for a for a legendary lineman. Mate, like even that geezer out of... 30k. Um, like... 30k yeah. for a, a, a stunty. Like, I watched I watch that mini... Is it, it's not mini war gaming. It's the other dude. I watched, like, the, you know the dude who did the reveal with Death Zone, or like the, the dude with white hair with glasses from Canada? No. Um, oh, what's his name? History. What page of the Mercs on? Uh, 42 is the, is the dirty player, is the stunty one. C'est un match crucial, Bob. Wow, no need for that. All oh, right, okay, madam. Yeah, it plus 80k. Yeah, but you can, you can just reduce all of the other stats so that you get like a 50k DP plus two guy or a 30k plus D plus two guy. It's whatever. 
Crazy. Gorilla gaming. Not Gorilla that's Metal. It. No, that's it, that's it. Gr uh, uh, no, Gorilla Miniature Games, that's it. The dude who yeah, Gorilla Miniature Games. That's it, okay, then. Yeah, and, um, like, he, he did a blood, like, he did a blood bowl video, and, like, you literally could have done a video off the back of that, like, <laughs> on everything that he went, like, because he doesn't know, like, he plays everything, like, and I watch, I watch a lot of his stuff on YouTube. But um, he obviously doesn't know Blood Bowl is like a Blood Bowl player, do you know what I mean? He obviously just sees it and plays it, like, which is fine. Um, but yeah, like, there's so many, like, interpretations of what is possible. Why is he assisting with the ball as well? I don't know. Didn't need it, I guess. Got him. <laughs> just didn't need that extra assist. It's the bribe though, I mean, it's that, that's worth for it, day player. Oh, is he in blitz range? He's in blitz range. Alright, fair enough. Dad, just didn't expect that. <laughs> the first thing the ball's done. Why would you leave him in range? So this is huge, as Eliel would say. <laughs> huge. Huge. <laughs> this is absolutely huge. <laughs> Fuck off, Jimmy. Eddie would just be screaming, I want to see a troll dodge. <laughs> troll dodge. <laughs> troll dodge. I'm like, Elliot, there's no trolls. Yeah, Yeah, exactly, Mario. Yeah, I agree. I think it's safe to say Mike's won't be in block of three. Do you reckon they're going to make the, um, you know, like the star players that were all skinned as goblins, do you reckon they're actually going to make them in BB3? I think they will, yeah. A lot of chaos have won the toss. So there's seven, oh god, what's this? Three, six, seven, eight, nine chaffs. And nine chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's, mate, it's been absolutely brutal. It has, hasn't it? Four chaffs out. Do I know what a sprinkler says? Wow, try. You're trying to tilt me in chat. Try trying to tilt me in chat. I, I can understand why Elk banned him now. <laughs> yeah. Try it. Try it. Do, do you see this next to my name, by the way? You see this? It's not to be messed with, mate. <laughs> ah, good. Chris's stream in the Super League. Oh, well, versus Fatten, that'd be a good game as well. Yeah. That'll be over by the time this one ends. Tragically few viewers for Cruz, my god. Yeah, but he's not been streaming like the You have to stream regularly, don't you? You have to stream regularly. Yeah, and I like, actually, to be fair as well, Rick and Andy are both streaming as well. Yeah, Rick and Andy are both streaming. I mean, when you say tragically few, you obviously haven't stopped in my stream in a little while, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> there's four, there's four for Super League. I would have expected more than four people, that's... Well, you haven't really advertised it, Jim, have you? <laughs> it should be, it should be like, there should be more like advertising. Like, I've missed loads of games, just purely like, not like, and I'm in the Discord and I, I don't know when half the games are happening and stuff. But... It's, on, it's on the site, it's all on the site, Dimmy, look. It's all on the site. Oh, bloody website. Look at this, BBSL. You can do that anytime. You can see the tables, and you can see the fixtures and everything. When they're scheduled you need, for... You need casters, Jim. You need casters. You need... That's the problem with it being the, the stream of Blood Bowl League, is that they all stream it independently. Like, you need to... You need to be like Gdanik, and you need to monopolise it, and you just need to have, like, a... The Blood Bowl Super League channel that gets all the like the viewers and stuff, and people know where they can watch it. Yeah. Like ESPN, you need to be the ESPN of Blood Bowl, basically, Jim. Yeah, I would like that because then I wouldn't have to play, would I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Genius, see, genius. I'm a, I'm a businessman, Jim. You know? <laughs> well, it looks a bit cuntish to do that, though, doesn't it? You know, so like. It does. Yeah, it massively does. <laughs> Yeah. That's, it why does, I, yeah. that's why I didn't want to do it. That's the thing, because they're all so big, they all like have their own views and stuff, isn't it? So it's impossible to do, but uh, like that's basically what the blood bot that's what the real oh my god. That's what the real Super League was, wasn't it? It was loads of see you next Tuesdays, um, trying to rob football from real fans. Yes. 
so I didn't want to like try and rob other people's views or anything. I was trying to like, yeah, I know, know, yeah, get yeah, everyone yeah, more yeah. views, isn't it? That's the thing. You know, like it's spreads. I mean, it's been around. brilliant. Yeah, it's been, I, I reckon that the semi-final and the final are probably gonna like, but they need to be planned at the right time as well, Jim. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. You can't you can't have them at like two o'clock in the morning on a Friday night. Well, maybe a Friday night, but like you can't have them at two o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. Do you know what I mean? No one's gonna see it. Yeah, I don't know why he's set up so deep. Because he's got to stop it, hasn't he? Like it's it's okay if you if you're basically trying to you know go for overtime, but in overtime, like he was lucky he got such a deep kick, didn't he? If this had been a halfway decent kick, then already he's camping halfway up his side. It would have been horrible. Yeah, it's only going to take those chores like five turns to reach the ball, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe the losses, though. Like... Yeah, it's been an absolute bloodbath. Yeah, four chores. <clears throat> and the thing is, there's probably points. been more losses since the good players have been lost yeah. as well, which is like... Like all the good ones went, and then like all the all the like rookies were like, yeah, I'll jump in on this. Like, yeah. 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 Exactly. Try. Yeah. Like, if he if he'd got if he'd done like an offset LOS or whatever, and then got a blitz, like an offset LOS hoping for a blitz or whatever, something like that. But instead of just going super deep and not being able to capitalise at all, I don't like it. <laughs> Smash the fuck out of this hobo, can it? I like that. Is fighting not streaming it? Don't think so. It's a school night though, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, is, is he gonna 3D him? Maybe the fact that he's in already. Yeah, he's basically. He has got to like respect the ball though, hasn't he? I, I mean the ball, as in the B U L L. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough, Tuki. At least he's got the guys deep to to go on the side. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it, Team on Taylor? But like that's asking a lot, right? To get even ten people, well, ten people, you know, like eight people to do that would be hard. But it would be great, yeah, if like if we just had. Games on every Saturday, just like the fucking Premier yeah, League. Yeah, like Premier match of the day. I mean, that would be completely sick if, like, the you you know you need you need the the I don't know say three to eight available every Saturday, and then yeah. we just have like a game on at three, a game on at four, a game on at five, a game on at six, a game on at seven, and a game on at eight. Because it'd be six games each week if you had twelve people in. That'd be fucking sick, wouldn't it? That's basically blitz bit. Yeah, we just basically have blitz bit every week. Yeah. Like it would be really good, like a fucking little blitz bit. But then it's like then it's too much like blitz bit. So then you just then it's even more that you just. Copy and like blitz it's, bit, isn't it? yeah, but you also need like uh like. The best thing about the blitz pit is that it doesn't happen very often, so when it does happen, it's special. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they maybe not that good idea then to have everyone playing every Saturday. <laughs> well, it's just not practical, is it? It's just not practical. No, it's not. Unless you want to make it an esport and pay them a wage to do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah. Just... That's not happening, is it? Because we're not hmm. going to get the money in. Yeah, exactly. It's not happening. Yeah. I'm wondering when 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 Elliot's like is, is Elliot like if he comes bottom does he get relegated you know? No, no one gets relegated from the Super League. That's how Fuck it works. Off, That's oh, how it sucks. works, isn't it? I, I so want Elliot to get relegated from the Super League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, if Dion Lord can do it with the Orcs, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the Umlog did really well with the Orcs. Mm. 
You're in third place. Oh, nice. Must have had your bye week then. It isn't. I mean, it isn't. Uh, it isn't. Like, there's a lot of dice involved, isn't there? That's the thing. Yeah, community funny cups. That's what Blitzbit is, though. That's what Blitzbit is. Yeah, Blitzbit has got a bit of fun in it, hasn't it? Um... I'm going to be in third place. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, like it's it just is what it is, isn't it? He did remove that ball carry, by the way. We didn't mention it. But it that, that happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it... it's almost over, isn't it? Really, that's the problem. Yeah, now. he's just got to grind it out to uh, grind it out to the win. Unless he makes like a huge mistake or. Um, <clears throat> so Zori rolls some crazy dice and gets like even if he sacks the ball like he's not retrieving it. Oh, that doesn't help. Oh, and now he's probably gone, isn't he? Classic blood ball. Yeah, now he's probably gone because he can get out of range of the ball as well, come so he can just be completely safe up here. Can't get him range though. No, he can't. But he can he can get safe in the ball, and then the important thing is he can bang bang these. Th like four guys down, so the only guy standing will be the bull, which he'll be out of range of, and then next turn he'll bang down the bull and score. Well, you know, get closer and score. It's basically inevitable now, unless there's shockingly bad dice. Oh, don't say that, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not bad, are they? <laughs> no, they're alright. I wonder how much SPP he's got this game. <laughs> Quite a lot, I think. Uh. Six cars. I mean, he's probably lost more SPP than his game, though, to be fair. He's, def be he's definitely <laughs> lost more, yeah, 44 on him. And then the the strength guarder is is a huge one to have lost for the uh, semi-final. Oh, tries a little bit butt hurt about the kicks. <laughs> yeah, it's such a rubbish way to lose blood balls. It is, yeah. But I mean, like, it is kind of fitting as well. <laughs> I mean, you think how many hours you could have saved yourself if you just went into a game and you just both rolled 1d6 and whoever <laughs> rolled the highest one. Yeah, yeah, it would have saved <laughs> a lot of time. Yeah, it's like, oh, well played, yeah, you get an MVP. <laughs> 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 does, he, does he assist with a ball carry here and then 3d with a claw pump? That's what I like. I know that's what you like, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be three Ds. Yeah. It has to be like maximum assist fouls. <laughs> yeah. Oozing yeah. kicks is fair enough, but I couldn't even make one kick for it. Yeah. Mate, <laughs> dude, Arino lost on kicks for it. Oh, well, it should work. that's all right to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope he's all right. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing result, isn't it? So it's an amazing achievement, yeah, definitely. So that's it. Like, but like being close. being close. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes it's better just to get tanked, and then you just go like, <laughs> oh, well, you just like yes, dice me. Do you know what I mean? Like, but when you're actually on the cusp of it, like when you're that close. Yeah. I bet his heart was racing, mate. Like, I'd be all, I'd be a mess. <laughs> Oh, he's with here, doesn't he? You can dodge he hasn't really, he hasn't really, like, <clears throat> I don't think he took, um, like, as much ground as I would have took, but... It was hard though with the, with the push, wasn't it? And obviously, obviously yeah. making it the three dice before, didn't, like, if he'd assisted with the ball carrier to make it three dice, he would have had this guy extra to move up and protect. But so by, by tucking him in there, he hasn't got him out to help. I, I quite like just putting this hotbot here and then going for the surf because it, it's really great to surf the uh, surf the killer isn't it yeah wait well, it's for whoever uh, the next round opponent is yeah <laughs> but Andrew's only got four turns left so if you if you can surf if you can surf the uh, killer then then that's like you know you're putting two hobbles in the way of the ball like you're doing something to hold him up 
It's realistically the best thing you're going to do in terms of holding the ball, really. Mm -hmm. That's what they do in uh, Rebel Clan, some guy. They do, uh, if you lose the overtime toss, then it doesn't go to kicks. You just win if you stop them scoring. Yeah. In which case... Um... But the problem with that is if you just get a pitch invasion or a blitz and a short kick and then, like, it's, there's, do you know what I mean? It's, and then they end up having a drive and then not scoring and then they win anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, just like... It, it, it goes against Blood Bowl in that Blood Bowl's really fucking random and you've yeah. got to have dice deciding everything. <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> and whether that's right or wrong, that's the way Blood Bowl is. So it it doesn't feel right for that. But given the limits of the client and what you can do, I think it's it's probably better than than having kicks. But I think the the kind of better Blood Bowl kind of uh, resolution is, as I said, to give the team that loses the toss re rolls, like one or two re rolls. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, got him. <laughs> oh, Steph, Steph. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. Oh, he's just letting go counter surf though. You have yeah. to GFI as well. Hit to do the GFIs. Yes, to do the GFI. Like just, just exchanging, exchanging here was not, not good. <laughs> In two games of Blood Bowl, me and the Omlord only had a single offense that scored, otherwise the defense won every time. Mate, that was the theme of Blitzpit in general, mate. That was, it uh, was maybe, yeah. yeah, the games that I watched were like very similar to that, especially on the second day. Yeah. He's making us wait here, isn't he? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Andre, mate. Right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch Fatten versus Cruz. He's going backwards. <laughs> He's going backwards. He's further away from scoring than he was last time. Yeah, exactly. Try. That's yeah, why I always think it's yeah, stupid. Like, like that's why I would think it's stupid when people say, "Oh, the Dakar isn't very good against good coaches," and it's like, no shit. It's hard to score against good coaches. It's hard to score against bad coaches sometimes. So. <laughs> yeah, but like, do you know what I mean though? Like, it seems just as such a pointless thing to come out with because like, well, yeah. <laughs> I think like one valid point about the Dakar is it's just not very entertaining. It's like, I mean, it like, it depends what you want to watch Blood Bowl for, I guess, but. Yeah. I don't know the fact that he put himself on the stand for him. Do you need to make a video of what the Dakar is doing, man? Uh, basically, yeah. just keeping all you guys, you know, right, right far back. And, uh, That's not a valid point, to me. Yeah, and then it. waiting for the other team to come and then run past them, basically. Yeah, all you need to do is watch uh, Bright's game against Rick in Blitzpit, or Kfo never Dakar though. Wow, oh my God. Oh, it doesn't really matter now, does it? It's just yeah. insult. <laughs> Adding injury to insult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty sure Sasori doesn't even want to win at this stage. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm done. Sorry, up and score. Like, <laughs> you. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Dio, these two games. Dio is Kemri. Yeah, I don't know. What you, are you talking about a different competition? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, if if you if you try to Dakar again, say Ducky, then you might lose if you don't Dakar. Like, it just seems. It seems. Yeah, probably. Like, who's to say if it's good or bad? That's the thing. It's incredible. Yeah, it's incredibly frustrating to play against when you're a bash team and all you want to do is hurt them and you can't hurt them because they're a mile away. Yeah, like I enjoy that aspect of it for sure. Yeah, it, I hate it because I don't really play elves that often. Yeah. The problem is with the Dakar is you can just lose because there'll be one turn that you got to roll dice and if you don't roll the right dice you just straight like lose or draw. Yeah. That's the issue with the Dakar. Yeah. 
But the, the main benefit is you don't lose half your- oh my god. Rackle, was that Rackle? <laughs> Deadliest man in Blood Bowl. The Rackle go. Yeah, mitigating the damage is exactly, yeah. That's why the half dacker is even pretty good, like... I don't like the half dacker. You don't, you're not a fan of the, the dac, Jim? No, the half dac is terrible. No, like, that's what Kfo does. You watch Kfo play, he does like a half dacker like pretty much every time he plays Elves. No, that's whack. <laughs> hey, watch like watch Kfo's games, mate. He, like he, he drops back like four squares and then like pushes aside and then switches back, like religiously every game. I mean, that's just more like a normal da more normal offense. That's just like a probing, probing offense, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> so it's a DAC. Yeah, it's a DAC. <laughs> oh god, another fail. Right, well, at least we, uh, this yeah, at least we've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. a casual hit cans. I wonder what the uh, TV tally is after this. <laughs> Like we we should look at the overall TVs of both teams and uh, see how much TV was lost in this one game. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it's like a thousand. Yeah. Oh, there there is a half dacker. Yak did it. <laughs> Yak did a yaka <laughs> where he just let his best players <laughs> get punched. <laughs> yaka. <laughs> oh yeah, that was classic. The the classic yaka. Yeah. yeah. That was hilarious. Oh dear. Oh, glorious time. There is a Yakka. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yakka did work, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. No, he lost, didn't he? It was against the Chaos. He did lose. Sure. I think he scored his touchdown on his drive. I can't remember. Something happened. Oh, no. Andre versus Yak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Yak, Yak scored early. Andre scored back. And then it was 1-1 uh, at half time. And then... Yak got the wizards, uh, stole the ball, Andre intercepted it, and then scored, yeah. Yeah, so the Yakka might have worked on another day. Yakka <laughs> is next level. <laughs> 30 um, armor breaks, 13, wow. <laughs> oh dear, well there you go. It was a good first half. Yeah, yeah, and it was you know there was a lot of there was a lot of damage, wasn't there? That was a nice MVP for him getting an extra skill. Um, Stand firm, Jim. Stand firm. Maybe at this stage, yeah. Eight can sustained, unbelievable. But four from four for Andre as well. So there yeah, you but go, he, well. yeah, Chaos Dwarves made sixty-three blocks. Chaos made like forty. <laughs> it's just... No, no, the Chaos made sixty. Oh, okay, yeah, it switched around. Okay, all yeah, right, that makes so... more sense. Yeah, they they did get a lot of hits, but they did do it. They did uh, <laughs> they did bang a lot of men's, didn't they? So there you go. Um, congratulations! Wow. <laughs> congratulations to Andre. Commiserations to Zori. Thank you very very much, Dimmy G, the 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 absolute legend, the champ, Dimmy G. Thank you very quiz, much. Quiz bit champion. <laughs> Quiz pit champ Dimmy G. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.